Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to do a busy mom look. I did this years ago when I was not even a mom. What was I thinking? Little did I know what a mom really has to go through. You have no time. If you have no kids, I'm not even going to try to explain to you because it's useless. Nobody understands until you actually become a mom. So. If you're a mom, you have all my respect. It's damn hard. It's really hard. And nobody tells you how actually hard it is. It changes everything, everything. You can't even pee without him, her. If, if I put my makeup kit on the floor, he wants to touch it. He wants to see everything. He loves brushes. Bref. Today's look is about the makeup look that works for those days when you look tired. And if you're a mom, tired is by default. This is how you, you wake up tired. <laughs> it's how it is. So I'm going to teach you all the techniques. I'm going to give you all the products um, in order to create a very enlivening, a very fresh, I've been sleeping the whole night kind of look. This is what you need. And obviously this is the result, but you're gonna see what I look like without this in three, two, one. Not to prime is a crime. I'm using Shiseido. This is Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer, an excellent primer. And I'm so happy that I was able to have this in my edit with Cosmetips. Thank you so much for all of you who purchased the edit. It was a great success. We were out of stock after nine hours, which really proved to me that I was right. <laughs> because I've always said this edit is absolutely amazing. And just like I said in the video, once it's gone, it's gone. So it's not gonna come back. The reason why I love this primer is because it creates the most beautiful natural surface uh, and your foundation will have a much better grip. I mean, that's what foundations in general are supposed to be doing, but um, some of them can be a little bit too moussey, too silicone-y. This is like the perfect one. Next is concealer. And I'll be applying this one from Hourglass. And I have to say this, quantity really matters here. And because this is lighter, it's going to be almost like a spotlight effect on the center of my face. Notice the placement. Now let's take a brush. Mm, I would say, yes, this is from Refer. Very potent, this concealer. Can we get closer, please? Super, super nice, this concealer. Like I said, very, very potent because it has this ability to cover even when you spread it and you thin it out really, really well. What's left on the brush, I like to get it on the brow bone. When the brow bone is nice and clean, the eyes look brighter. You want to apply something that's lighter with a little bit of coverage around the nose and around the mouth because there's usually there are usually shadows right here, shadows right here. You want to diminish, I would say. Now, like I said before, this is a type of makeup that really helps moms that are very tired. And by definition, moms are very tired. I did this video a while ago where I was like, oh, mom, a busy mom, a makeup tutorial. And I was using like 15 products and 20 brushes because I was a cat mom. Little did I know. Little did I know what mom life really is like. And you know what? 
I am not home with my baby every day. Obviously, I have to, to go to work, so I come at the studio every day. But those of you who stay home, who cook, who are watching after one, two or three or I don't know how many kids, you are damn heroes. There should be a statue of yourself in your house where everyone in that house is like, thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. That's how it's supposed to be. If you're doing it all, because you are, you are. Okay, continuing with the makeup. What makes us look tired? It's the under eyes, the darkness under the eyes, and the color of the skin. I don't know about you, but I feel like my skin is a little bit gray. And I don't think it has something to do with, you know, the products that I use. I think it has to do with just how I am. This is my skin. And I've noticed that what gives my skin that grayish tone is the fact that my skin, first of all, is incredibly thin. And you can see through the skin all the spider veins. So all that purple tone kind of comes through the skin, gives it a weird color. Also, I've noticed that, for example, people who smoke, they have an ashy tone to their skin. And the way you want to sort of fix that is by applying, obviously, concealer. And second of all, foundation that is slightly darker. You need a foundation that is like a medium coverage, something that you could build up. And when I say slightly darker, I will explain to you exactly what is the the effect that I want from foundation. So I've chosen this one from Hourglass. This is really good because it also lasts beautiful. It's very natural, but it has great coverage. Soft Glow Foundation, Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. Uh, I'm using shade 6.5 because I have self-tanned my body, but not my face. Um, so let's try this brush. This is from Hourglass as well this brush by the way so now when I'm applying the foundation I get it obviously on the cheeks right and then I take the foundation towards the center basically creating like a soft contouring effect now I know that I'm going to be talking a lot in this video and it might look like this this look is very uh, long, but I promise you, it only takes you a few minutes in the morning. But the reason why I'm giving you all this explanation is because I want you to understand why I'm doing every single step. So, apply this darker foundation on the parameters of your face. Get a little bit lower. Make sure that it's connected with the neck. Same thing on the forehead. Buff it into the skin. I find that this is the most natural way. I apply a little bit on the nose and because I buff it into the skin and I use the minimum amount of product it looks crazy crazy natural now I go with my just what's left on the brush everywhere including under the eyes but you'll see it's not gonna it's not gonna cover that spotlight effect that we've created with concealer already I look like I had a really good night's sleep so honestly it's the skin it's how you're applying your complexion that helps you look more you know more alive more rested now the skin is even and I want to add just a little bit more dimension and I'm going to use a bronzer that is not too dark. This is Valentino bronzer in shade number four and I'm going to take a big brush. This is from uh, Pat McGrath 
but honestly um this eight cosmetics is just as good if not better however i've used this yesterday so i don't like to use dirty brushes um i'm gonna take a little bit of this powder like i said it's important to use a bronzing powder or even um compact powder that you might have that is maybe darker maybe you bought something that mm, it's like oh that's darker for me you only want to use this on the perimeters of the face and you want to apply this exactly like you see it right now dabbing this is super important because as the surface of the skin now is kind of wet because of the foundation, you don't want to apply this product by rubbing it because you might end up having this looking very muddy, not well blended because obviously when you apply colored powder on top of a wet surface, it will have a much better grip. So this is the movement. Okay. And then obviously you want to apply a little bit of this because you know the foundation being darker you want to connect a little bit the foundation with the color of the neck so you want to do that transition by applying bronzing powder so notice how i didn't do anything like very precise i didn't do like a stripe of color it's more like I am a little bit darker right here. Very soft contouring. Trust the process. Now I'm taking the exact same product and now I'm gonna take this brush from Refer number 27. This is going to add a little bit of dimension and it's gonna create a very cohesive look. So bronzer at the outer corner on the lower lash line but keep it at the outer corner it will also give that the illusion of more elongated eyes now what did we do we evened out the skin we created a very very soft sculpting we gave dimension to the skin what's missing a little bit of life that freshness the color blush is so important do not sleep on blush it's it makes a tremendous difference this is a new one from Giorgio Armani I use a lot of similar blushes with this NARS has one Persona Cosmetics has one Dior has one backstage all right refer 05 brush perfect brush for blush Taking a little bit of this, pressing it into the bristles. So if normally I would apply the, br the blush like here, now I want to apply the blush here. It's just more youthful, trust me. Right here. I'm taking a little bit more, getting it on the other side. If you've applied it and you feel like, oh my god, like I feel right now, it's it's a little, it's looking a little bit weird. Take your concealer brush and go on only on the edges. So basically, this is the placement, right? And now I only go on the edge of it. You understand? Okay. Now we have color, but it's kind of weird when you, you, when you have blush only here. Because I'm, I'm going to explain this as best as I can. You could apply blush only here if you have nothing on the skin if you have no foundation but because the skin is so perfected with foundation because your skin has just like this beautiful even tone it looks weird when it's like boop blush right here 
you, you have to make it look very natural. How do you do that? By applying blush in other places of your face, such as, you know what, I'm going to take the same, the same brush. If you apply a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of blush on the eyelid, it just adds something. It makes it look a lot more natural, a lot more cohesive. It's like, oh yeah, now, now I can see a beautiful rested face. It's not just makeup, you know what I mean? So just a little bit of blush. I like to apply blush, honestly, on my mobile lid in the center, like right here, okay? Right here. And a little bit here, okay? Here is the placement. I could stop right here because I was blessed with a little bit of eyebrow situation. It doesn't bother me that they're not at all symmetrical. This one is higher, this one is lower, this one is thicker, this one is thinner. It doesn't bother me. Nobody looks at me with the, you know, like the measurements. Mm. Do I look good overall? Sleek hair, put on some accessories. That's all I need, you know, to be good for the day. On the lips, I'm sure I will find something in my bags. I always have at least one lip product in my bag, something that is easy to use where I do not need a mirror. However, this needs to last, especially if you're, if you leave home in the morning and you come at home, you know, 10 hours later, you don't want to, you don't want to touch up. You don't want to touch up throughout the day. Who has time for, for that anyway, right? I suggest you to use powder. Powder and setting spray are the two things that will prolong your makeup always, okay? And although it's just two simple steps, I know that a lot of us prefer to do just one. And I'll choose powder because I know that powder also mattifies the skin, locks everything in place. This new, I think it's new for me, I don't think it's new on the market. It's from Say, this new powder from Say is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, why? Because it's not fully matte. It's not fully matte. And it helps because, you know, when you have wrinkles and when you have dry under eyes, what am I doing now? I'm making sure that the concealer is not creased under my... Um, so when you have wrinkles and, and, and you know, your, your skin is not like 20 anymore, you need this powder. You need a powder that doesn't have that very matte, flat look. So I apply this under the eyes. Do you, do you see that it has, this actually has luminosity. It doesn't, it doesn't mattify the skin like crazy. And for every day, oh, I love it. Press it, press it into the skin. You wanna apply this on the center of the face where our skin produces more oil. One of the reasons why I picked this foundation is because it is longer lasting than most, more than a tinted foundation, more than like a, you know, very light foundation, light in texture. That's why I don't need to apply um, powder on my cheeks because this with the powder, with the bronzing powder on top, perfect. Okay, so I only had to apply a little bit of powder here and there. Now for the eyebrows, I know there are people who absolutely cannot leave the house without having something on the eyebrows. I would say if you want to do something that is quick, you take a tinted brow gel. You know what, uh, Antonia, this has nothing left. We need a new one. Can you give me a new one, please? Thank you. Tinted brow gel has always been the thing for me because, like I said, I do have a little bit of eyebrow material. I do plan to use a brow growing serum. I've heard that Revita brow is really working, so I might use that. 
I have a little bit of color, I have a little bit of structure. That's all I need. The next two steps are for you. This is not something that I would normally apply, but I'm doing this for you because I know a lot of you cannot leave the house without mascara. So I'm applying Sweet Lashes Mascara, which is fantastic, especially for like a daytime look because it separates the lashes so well so so well this mascara was in my edit with cosmetips has such a nice brush long separated lashes and like i said for the lips i really don't care much because i usually have something in my bag no matter what bag i pick i know that there will be at least one product a little tinted situation or just a clear lip balm in today's video i wanted to show you this new color this is a tinted lip balm don't be fooled by the color that you see in the bullet because when you actually apply this this is the only matte lip balm that i have ever used i don't know anything similar to this this is called bisou balm it's from violette and the color that i'm using is amour fou and like i said this is like applying powder on the lips the reason why they've created this is because in france it's very popular, this this very, you know, like I, I've just been kissed type of lips where, you know, you're applying a little bit of lipstick and then you spread it with your finger. That's basically what Violette was trying to do with this product. And it looks so nice because it's just so natural. It looks like my lips are so pretty. I have a, I have a pout. I just love it. I love it, love it. Obviously, I've overlined, overlined, if I could say so. Like, I've overapplied on the Cupid's bow. You don't have to do this if you don't like it. I kind of like this effect where the lips are not like super precise. Um, this is it. This is the busy mom, the real busy mom makeup. Because, I mean, you know what? Thanks to my job. I, you know, I apply makeup every day. When I leave home, I don't wear any makeup because I know I'm going to come to the studio and I'm going to apply tons of makeup. But in the weekend, this is what I'm wearing. And most of the times when I do stories and take you out and about, a lot of people ask me about, oh, how do you do this very simple look? And you always surprise me by asking about the most simple things, like a simple lip or a simple eye. Uh, and I guess this is what we all need in, in today's scenario, because who has time? Especially if you're in your 30s, I guess, 30s, 40s. Um, who has time to, to sit down an hour and a half to do their makeup? Unless, you know, you, you really want to have that moment. <sighs> this is it my busy mom makeup tutorial hope you enjoyed this as usual every single product and brushes are listed in the description down below thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram follow me here on youtube make sure that you're subscribed for more videos i'll see you guys in my next one bye